leave the space and I'm going to give you writing, okay? Okay, ready? Just to write this one later. Okay, ready now? When, when God created heavens and earth in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, In our English Bible, heaven is not singular. It is plural. Heavens, which indicates There are many heavens in the Bible that list there are three heavens Paul uh, when Paul and you Open your brackets, say AD, AD 41, and close bracket. Paul went to visit the third heaven in Second Corinthians chapter. 12, verse 2. Which gives us our confirmation that there are three heavens. The first heaven is the lowest heaven. Which is from this ground, from this ground to 100 kilometers high. We call it air. or atmosphere within this space normally oxygen oxygen is available second heaven is the above 100 kilometers all the way to the unlimited, unlimited distance. What we call universe. Where a zillion, zillion, I say zillion, Z, okay? A zillion, zillion stars. locate stars a zillion zillion stars locate the size of the universe is so huge that no one even space scientist even space scientists cannot measure.
it's a basic measuring unit is not kilometer its basic measuring unit is not what kilometer it is what light year yeah light year which means what the speed of light for a year speed of light for a year okay that's a basic unit this clearly tells us the universe is very big that we cannot imagine after the universe the third heaven locate in the third heaven where god and his throne and angelic angelic forces angelic forces are residing dwelling also we we consider we consider the place as paradise in which christians after death will will reside during the old testament during the old testament there were some god's people visited the third heaven isaiah in isaiah chapter 6 verses 1 through 13 and also ezekiel an open bracket ezekiel chapter 1 first chapter 1 verses 1 through 14 had visited the third heaven they saw the throne come up and cherub cherubim you know cherubim okay c h cherubim and seraphim got it okay cherubim is the r cherub it's r that's a plural okay cherubim r cherubim r the highest ranking angelic forces therefore they stationed they were stationing they were sta- they were stationing 
very near the throne, surrounding themselves at the throne. There were many cherubims but and the highest cherubim we call the Lucifer. No Lucifer, okay? Later this Lucifer got fallen. The, later this Lucifer got fallen, becoming, becoming what? Becoming a Satan. The second highest group of angels were Seraphim. S-E, okay? R A P H Seraphim. So Isaiah and Ezekiel met all these high ranking angels. Who were hovering, who were hovering Hovering means what? Huh? Hovering, yeah. Who were hovering around the throne. Later, John in the New Testament in AD 95. Later, John also visited the third heaven. In Revelation chapter 4, he also met Though the seraphim and cherubim. And also he saw twenty four elders kneeling down before the throne in their golden crown, in their golden crown, okay, worshiping, praising, honoring, the Lord Jesus. Because the Lord Jesus was the creator of all things. In open bracket, say Revelation chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. Okay, shall we just open Revelation chapter 4? Whole story is this, and now verses 10 through 11 to 24 elders. You have that? Twenty-four elders will fall down before him 
who sits on the throne will worship him. See, it, him is the Lord Jesus, who lives forever and ever, and will cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Worthy are you, our Lord and our God, to receive glory and honor and power, because you did create what? all things. And because of you will exist, you will they existed and they were created. See, now, why do we praise and worship and honor Jesus? Why? Because he is a creator. Would you highlight that part there, your Bible? <clears throat> Last time we have discussed on Jesus, Creator, remember? Now, no wonder why we ought to worship. So when you worship Jesus, then you, you would say, you confess that Jesus, you are Creator. Then when you say Creator, then you have to visualize all the creatures. Don't, don't just say you are creator. You visualize all creatures. Mountains, oceans, and seas, and trees, and flowers. All humanities, including myself. See, later you have to end up, you have to end up with yourself. Okay? Then you have a personal relationship with him. You say, oh, you created all this, this, this. You visualize all this. Later, always you, you come to yourself. Because that way that you can relate to Jesus. Then you say, Lord Jesus, you created me. And say, you created my brothers and sisters. Then you look at your brothers and sisters. And you created my mother and father. That really touches your skin, right? Then say, for that reason, you are worthy enough to be praised. Not only that, he not only is creator, he is a sustainer. Sustainer. You know meaning sustainer? He's a controller. Okay, he is a manager. You are controlling whole universe in your hands. Okay? So you are all universe, all creature is in your hand. Thereby you are worthy to be praised like that. Then they continue more. Say then he says. Jesus, you are such a powerful God. Then how did you become, how could you become a human and died on the cross? I cannot, I cannot even think of this. How? How did you do this? Such a powerful king, powerful God. Because of your total humility expressed by you, now I am your child. It's amazing grace. Therefore, you are worthy enough to be praised. The third heaven also is called angelic, angelic society. Because it has numerous it has a numerous angels mm. 
in the place. Numerous angels in the place. We, we, the Bible calls it the uh, the host. The ho Have you heard this? Have you seen this in the Bible? Yeah. Okay. The the host. This is angels. I gave you. You have. Um, the doctrine of angels that I taught you in, in, in our website, okay? You studied, okay? But I'll give you, how many of you studied doctrine of angel? Good, good, good. I will give you a brief uh, teaching on angel. Uh, angel has some characteristics number one they do not have inheritance number two they were made they were created for serving God's children, they will minister, minister, they will minister, comma, they will defend, comma, guard, guard, comma, help. Comma, protect the children of God. Number three, whatever number, number four, three, three. Yeah, number three, they do not have body, but, but soul and spirit. Number four, they have knowledge, emotion, and volition. You know volition? We all. Volition. Volition means, this means it's a free will. Yeah, we call it volition. So they will, they will laugh. They will, they will laugh, laughing. Okay. They will cry. They will smile. They will be angry. They will love, show compassion. In the Bible, there are 108, 108 times in the Old Testament and 165 times in the New Testament. One hundred and sixty five times in the New Testament appeared appeared on the angels' ministries. Angels ministries, okay? In other words, Bible Bible described angelic ministries at least 
273 times all together. Two hundred seventy three times. There are good angels and bad angels. The angelic society. is the hierarchical society. You know meaning hierarchical? It's a class. Class society. Okay? The highest is cherub. Highest is a cherub society. I would say cherub society. We call it cherub. There are many, many cherubs. So there are many cherubims. Got it? It is, it is within the cherub, within the cherub society, also it's a class. Highest cherub and second highest cherubims, many, many, many different cherubims. Lower the more. The highest cherub. Name what? What? Lucifer. Lucifer means what? Not beautiful. Lucifer means it's a light. Lucifer. You know, in English, um, Illumination. Eh? You put down, you English put down it. Illumination. Illumination. Illuminator means light. Yeah, light bearer. Okay? Light. So, you know the lady's name is uh, Lucy. Eh? Lucy. Some people name Lucy, lady. Eh? That's all comes out. It's a light. Light. Yeah. So Lucy 4 has the other name, say Lucy L. It's the same. Lucy L. It's a nice name. Very nice name. Light bell. Because she, this man, that's not a lady here. Okay, actually. The Satan, no, not Satan, the Lucifer, highest cherub. It's very good looking and power holding and light, light uh, bearer. So E R means what? Person, right? E R means person, right? So it's a light, it's a light holder. Or light bearer. Second highest. Second highest angel. And seraphim. Seraph. Society. And many seraphim. Got it? Here? It also within this, it's a class society. There are many. It's like, uh, you know, in your
country's president, president palace, has a president guard. But within the president guard, you, there are many ranks, right? Yeah. And third, third is Michael. Michael is what? Michael Society. Michael's working is what? He, eh? Yeah, he he, he is like an army. Okay? Yeah, it's, um, it's guarding, defending, and so on. You know, in military guard, in presidential palace, what is it? What's their job? Protecting and, and guarding and one more. It's a security is all here. You know, when, when foreign president visiting the palace and they, what is it? Squadron. What do you mean by squadron? Honoring guard. You know, honoring, honoring parade. Eh? Like here, it's honoring. Honoring parade. <coughs> All these functions. There are many, it's the same within here. Michael department has many small Michaels, his followers. And number four is Gabriel Society. What's the Gabriel's job? Messenger. Like, you know, a public relationship, I would say. Hmm? Public relations. Announcement. A postal, postal service. You know, post office. Hmm? There are also, it's a class society. There is also a class society there. Now, last time when I angelic uh, doctrine of angels, I did not give you this name, but I will give you the new name here. Okay, here. Starting here, why don't you open Colossians? Colossians chapter 1. Verse 16. <clears throat> Colossians. Colossians is after, after Philippians. Ephesians. After Ephesians. You have Colossians? Would you highlight verse 16? I will give you now. In, in Colossians 1.16... And Paul says, God created angels. There are four angels' names there. Angel society. I did not give you that before. Number one is, what you have in your Bible? Thrones. You have thrones there? So you put down thrones. It's a throne society. Okay, there are many thrones. (coughs) 
and number six is what? Dominions. Dominion societies is dominions. Many dominions. Same class society here. And number seven. Number seven. Rulers. Rulers. It's a ruler society. And rulers. It has same class society. Number eight, authorities. Where are principalities? Lona, principality in your Bible? Which one is it? This one, ruler? Some NIV? So in Colossians 1.16, Paul stated these four angel society names. Four angel society names. And Paul said, God created throne, dominions. It's, it's not singular. See, in your Bible, say thrones, dominions, like that. Okay? and rulers, authorities, like that. So these are all high class. But the lowest class, I would say, is a general, civilian society. So it's a general civilian angels. Are you ready for writing? Okay. As we have seen, there are nine classes in the angelic society. It is obvious that when we are in the heavenly society, we will find the society is also class society. We will be in the one of the, then how can our class be determined? It is determined by the degree of your heart, your heart, heart condition. As you, as you have pure, pure heart as possible, your position will be higher. Purity of your heart will determine the glory of yourself. As you maintain your heart as pure as Jesus, as pure as Jesus, meaning his characters, then you are guaranteed you will be in high leading position in heaven. It's not determined by your work. It is determined by the quality of your work and your your, your, uh, uh, your sanctification. As we maintain pure.
pure heart, the light and glory will will be reflected out of your heart. Light and glory will be reflected from your heart. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7, there will be many false pastors and leaders, prophets, who have performed miracles and wonderful ministries in the name of Jesus for their own ambitions and their own glory. Jesus gave them warning that I will not know who you are. He said, you've done this in the, in the name of Jesus, but your heart condition was not pure. Thereby, you wear, wear your, your clothing, okay? Ship clothing outside. Eh? Ship clothing. It looks ship clothing. But your heart is full of what? Wolf. Okay? Wolf. W O L F. Wolf. Wolf heart. Outside ship clothing, but inside, what is it? Wolf. How do you know that? By the fruits. Then how can you tell by the fruits? What kind of fruits? Write that down. What kind of you, you can tell by the fruit? That's our problem. Because we are spiritually half blind. We are spiritually half blind. Why blind? Because our heart condition is not pure. So we cannot make distinctions. So as you maintain your heart pure, then you are able to see spirit world. Matthew 5, 8 said, Blessed are those whose heart is pure. They shall see God. Write that down again. They shall see God. Which means you can see spirit world. Jesus predicted in Matthew 7 that there will be many Christian leaders will be under that categories. Many. Then you will be surprised later in heaven They will be in the very low class. 
in the heavenly society. So do not look for visible evidences and visible big ministries that might result in your own your own what high reputation from the public people Jesus say you have received reward already in this world therefore no reward is waiting for you in heaven Matthew chapter 6 says that so our job is not to seek for people's recognition rather seeking for what God's recognition this is our great temptation hmm good secular peoples are seeking for what seeking for visible visible recognition write that down why because the secular peoples life objective lies in this first heaven their life goal and objective is in where in the first heaven but christian christian and christian leaders life objective is what where is in the third heaven so we should be different from those secular leaders secular secular leadership style and concept are totally opposite to the spiritual leadership style and concept it totally opposite so jesus was telling us the spiritual leadership styles that will be recognized by god and jesus said if you follow this teaching then you are blessed ones and you will be not only blessing you not only you will receive blessing by your position you will be in the high leadership authoritative position Jesus said that's your inheritance in my conclusion here here change the paragraph as we maintain our hearts pure we can visit the third heaven every day in our prayer and our meditation this is what we call the throne the throne prayer
예수님의 재림을 준비하는 영적 추수 사역에 일조하는 도구가 되기를 간절히 소원합니다. 아이 want to hear the gospel in my language. 예수 크리도하 면마 비에 피바네. 예수 함사피나 자아피네 말게야. 크리스티 비아마 카모나게 바쿠테네야 그누마르다. 이슈아라 파데 발로와신 이슈아르 푸트로 예수 크리스토 아프나데 존노 미트 고른 크리스린. 예수 아니 니샹싱 타 데유 세인 예수인 투푼 